Hey everyone, this is Vincent, the Stick Figure Picker. How's everyone doing today? Got a small thrift and eBay haul for you. This is for May 21st, I think it is, 2016. I've got a few items to resell and I got some items to keep, mostly items to keep. I got a few things to resell. But let's jump right into the haul video. I think I spent a grand total of... $67. Again, it doesn't look like a lot, but I got stuff that was non-vintage. If you saw my Periscope, which you should, it's going to leave in the next 24 hours and will not be um, visible to anybody. So I highly recommend going over to Periscope, checking me out, and following me on there under the Stick Figure Picker. So the first group of items that I want to show you, I'm going to draw your attention over to this pile of DVDs right here. All of these are classic films going from about 1945 up to about 1985. Um, you'll see what I mean. Okay. So a lot of these DVDs are for myself. I'm going to watch them and see if they're any good. And if they're not, I'm going to resell them. So the first one is uh, St. Elmo's Fire. I got that for $1 at my Way and Pay place, which sadly is going to be shutting down as a store and moving to online. But that's okay. Brand new condition. Didn't look like it was ever uh, watched. Looks like it was just torn. Uh, the packaging was just open. This stars Emilio Estevez, Andrew McCarthy, Judd Nelson, Mayor Win Winningham, Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, Ali Sheedy, and Annie McDowell. And I also see that uh, Judd Nelson is in here. So I think this movie was part of the Brat Pack. I'm just going to drop them, so sorry if you hear a really loud thump. So the next item that I got is um, Factory Sealed. It's They Were Expandable, starring Robert Montgomery and John Wayne, along with Donna Reed. Uh, I heard this movie was really, really great. And it is a war movie, so I think it'll be interesting to watch, because it came out, I think, right around the time that World War II had ended. So that was great. That was a dollar. I got this at Goodwill for $1.79. Animal House. And I think this has John Belushi in it. So I can't wait to watch this. I heard this movie was hilarious. So I'll definitely be watching that. I know some of you are probably thinking, why do you like this movie so much? This is the movie Child's Play. Again, it was a whole dollar. I do have this movie already, but my disc is really, really beat up, and it won't play on certain um, DVD players that are up-to-date that can handle the scratch discs. So I'm going to get rid of the one that I have now. I'll probably put it on eBay for maybe $1.99, $2.99, $3.99, just to see if I get any bids or any watchers. So I'll be updating it with this copy. I'm really, really happy about that, and I'm ecstatic. This movie I'm going to be selling. It's called The Desert Box, starring James Mason and Jessica Tandy. That was a whole dollar. I'm going to see if it's in new condition, and if it is, it's going right to eBay. Another movie, this is a B-movie. I'm probably going to just send it to eBay without watching it. King Solomon's Mines, starring Deborah Kerr, Stuart Granger, Granger, or Granger and Richard Carlson. This is Run Silent, Run Deep, starring Burt Lancaster and Clark Gable. I'll definitely be watching that. My dad said that was a really, really good one. The next one is The Snow of Kilimanjaro, Ernest Hemingway's um, novel, starring Ava Gardner, Gregory Peck, and Susan Hayward. <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. good. The last DVD that I want to show you is The Legend of the Lost, starring John Wayne, Italian sex goddess Sofia Loren, and Rosano Prazi. Prazi. I should, I should just say she's a... Sex symbol, not a sex goddess. That's Brigitte Bardot. So that's it for the uh, DVDs. So I'll, I want to draw your attention to these three magazines that are right here. This is from March 30th, 1942, and it features Shirley Temple all grown up. In this um, issue, I think she's 13. Um, she was born in April of 1928, and this came out on March 30th, 1942, shortly before her 14th birthday. Um, I did pay three, three, and three, they were three dollars each, but again, they came from that charity thrift store, and so it's three, a dollar fifty, and three, so that's seven fifty that I paid for these three. Great price. Um, I do say that I like to pick up magazines that are from the 50s, but these Life magazines, the graphics and the art in them are so awesome. 
I mean, you just can't. I love looking at old things like this. Oh, look. Call for Philip Morris. Just movies that were coming out. I mean, look at this, we do not make things like this anymore. That's why I love looking through magazines like this. So that was the first one. That was $3. The next one, in which I forgot to take out of the packaging, is a McCall's magazine. I think it was a fashion magazine or something like that. That kind of looks like Betty Page to me. Um, again, we can sift through here. This is from 1945, if I didn't already say that. I mean, again, just stuff we don't see. And I mean, look at all the graphics in here. I mean, these, are, these magazines are freaking rad. This one did get wet because it didn't have the uh, sleeve with it, but it's okay because it's not too badly ruined. It was $1.50. All right, this next one is a November 1949 Look magazine with Ava Gardner on the front of it. Kind of funny how I went to a uh, one thrift store and found an Ava Gardner movie, and then I find a magazine with her on it. Look at how awesome these ads are. I mean, we just don't make things like this anymore, which is very sad. Now we got Del Monte. Look at the back of that Chesterfield. See, now those were neat. Those I'm going to keep. All right, the item that I have for resale, along with some of the DVDs, happens to be this new old stock... Genuine suede leather kit. You get a checkbook holder, you get a key holder, and then you have a cigarette pouch. I did pay up on this. I paid $8. Um, if you watch my Periscope, you'll see that I bought a um, AT&T phone. The price on it was $7.50 or $7, and I got it for $3.50. That's why I bought this for $8. I'm probably going to list this on eBay for $39.99 or best offer. See if I get any watchers or anything like that. Or if someone... Um, sends me an offer, and if it's something that I'm willing to negotiate on, I will take it. I bought it because it's brand new, and nobody ever used it, so I will definitely be using that to sell. Not using that. Selling it. Okay, the very last item that I want to show you is another Coca-Cola serving tray. However, this one was not used for... Um, diners and bars and things like that. This was actually a collector's tray. So the main reason why I bought it, um, I forgot to mention, it is from 1982. And I know some of you who know me well enough know um, I do not like any trays from the 1980s, any of the repros, things like that. However, I do, or I did want this serving tray because this is a limited edition Sprite Boy serving tray from the 1982 8th Annual Cola Clan Convention. There was a limit of 2,000 trays of the, uh, produced for this convention. I got this on eBay for $17. Um, person probably didn't mention that it was the Sprite Boy tray from the Coca-Cola Clan Convention, so they didn't know what they had. They had a bunch of other trays that they knew what they had, but they didn't know about this one. So I got this one for 17 and I looked up um, other completed listings for it just to see if there were any. One sold for $66, so I got this for a steal. So I saved approximately $49, I think. Yep, I saved $49 on this. So if any of you are out there picking and you're at antique stores and you see this tray mixed in with a bunch of reproduction trays, pick this one up. You will definitely make some money on it. I can't wait to add this to my collection. Again, it's the only tray that I ever wanted from the 1980s. So that is my small little haul for you today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Periscope under the Stick Figure Picker. Follow me around for thrift adventures, flea market adventures, Amazon FBA hauls. And that's all I got for you today. And until next time, happy picking and good luck with sales.